Hey guys, thanks for clicking this video. I do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, remember to click the subscribe button, click that bell icon, and if you really want to support me, then consider being a Luxe channel supporter for $4.99 a month. You'll get loyalty badges next to your name, you'll get custom emojis, you'll get rough cuts and bloopers, you'll get discounted merchandise, connect with you on social media, and also you get your name mentioned at the start of each video, like this. in this book. I promise you, you won't reveal it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Mm. Where's my light? Hey. That's too bright, that's too bright. Um. It's midnight. Wednesday. No, it's Thursday now because it's midnight. So it's a Thursday morning. I just had a knock on the door by what could only be described as somebody willing to sell their services, let's say. I'm aware that this stuff happens, but it's never happened to me. I've been trucking for five years now and that's the first time uh, I've had a knock on the door <laughs> just leave me alone I want to sleep <laughs> oh I'm tired uh, I plan on vlogging today so this is the start of the video <laughs> I'm going back to sleep no night, night. <laughs> see you in the morning Ah, morning. We're uh, we're just doing our daily checks in the morning now. Uh, what time is it? It's uh, five a.m. Me, uh, my friend's knocked on the door again at two o'clock in the morning. So, thanks for that. Waking me up again. But yeah, no, we're parked in Warsaw at the moment. Uh, just on this like long industrial estate. Uh, I'm just doing my daily checks this morning, and I've just noticed. The indicator isn't working there, so I'm just going to change that bulb now before I set off. Everything else is good. Uh, I just I need to close the uh, the back door and uh, change that bulb, and then we're good to go. But, uh, but yeah, we're fully loaded with with these pallets. They're all strapped. Uh, we've got to go to Southport, which is about two hours away from where we are right now. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get this light bulb changed. I'll see you in a bit. Right, we're back at the truck and you're gonna have to excuse a few things. Firstly, I'm tired. <laughs> I keep yawning. Uh, I'm safe to drive, don't get me wrong, but I'm just uh, yawning. Um, we are in a different truck. Obviously, if you watched my last video, G14 gearbox went on it, unfortunately. Um, so it's uh, it's it's knackered. <laughs> I think they might be putting a new gearbox in. I'm not entirely sure what's happening. But for now, I'm in this one, which is G15. It pretty much, most likely, looks exactly the same inside. So from your perspective, you're not going to notice any difference. The lights are not quite as bright. Now, there is uh, one thing wrong with it. and uh, It's going to annoy me. Well, it's going to annoy you because I know it annoys me. Uh, but just bear it in mind. You'll only get to hear it for 20, uh, 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, depending on how long this vlog is. I get to hear it all day. And that's the did da ding did da ding did da ding <laughs> There's a uh, coolant level sensor issue with this truck. Um, I've, I'm led to believe that it has been changed. Uh, they have put a new sensor in, uh, but for some reason the truck is still throwing up the fault. So, every now and then, you hear a did da ding did da ding did da ding, -ding. Uh, and it's quite annoying. Normally, when I'm like accelerating or braking, so you probably hear it when I go over this roundabout. So yes, that's uh, 
quite annoy an annoying thing about it. Um, and then uh, light bulb, we... There we go. Don't know if you can hear that. You're going to hear that all vlog. Throughout the whole vlog, you're going to hear that, so get used to it. <laughs> uh, and light bulb, uh, I don't have any um, orange bulbs. So um, I couldn't change the bulb. I, I thought I had the bulb, and I haven't. So, a bit annoying. Um, luckily, luckily, it does flash on the trailer, and on the side of the truck, and on the front of the truck. It's only the back of the, the, the unit itself where the indicator isn't working. So it's not like dangerous but um it's just something i need to get fixed asap right we want to turn left here just hover in both lanes so i can get around the corner lovely excellent and also when i indicate right the indicator flashes well the indicator doesn't flash to, uh, fast but my display does if that makes sense the actual indicator doesn't. Just my nose cars on the left, excellent. And we're going down here. Uh, we're delivering to J.A. Jones. It's a nursery. We've got 22 pallets on for them, so uh, we'll get them taken off. Once, that, once this has been delivered here, we need to go to D side, which is just south of Liverpool, and get loaded with um, a recycled bailed plastic I believe other than that is going to Rochester I'm not entirely sure we get there tonight or not because that's a long drive so um, yeah I'm not sure that's gonna be delivered today right where do we go okay here we are getting unloaded uh, be beautiful sunset or sunrise rather the guy there he's uh, he's teaching the other guy out here to offload I think and he uh, he just <laughs> he just congratulated me on how the load looks he said it was well loaded well strapped compared to other hauliers so happy days uh, that's what we want to hear uh, so yeah just getting unloaded now uh, it's a beautiful sunset behind me really really nice um, nice guys here nice guys as I was saying uh, they sort of like congratulated me a little bit by uh, saying how well strapped it was uh, strapped down and none of the load slipped. Apparently he took photographs and he sent it off to uh, to the people who ordered it or something or clients just to prove that it could be done. Apparently they've had uh, bad experiences with previous hauliers. So yeah, another win for uh, for Harry and Sons. Excellent, eh? Right, yeah, so we've got, a, we've got a few more pallets left to come off and then we should do the curtain up and head our head down to D side. I think it's about an hour and a half, give or take. So yeah, let's go. Right. We are unloaded and we are good to go. Uh, before I get too comfortable, let's get my sunglasses out because that sun is bright. This is a, it's a lovely, lovely sunrise, must admit. But it's also very bright and not the best for driving conditions when you're not wearing sunglasses. Give my ring a bit of a clean. Roads are still quite salty, and um, so the mirrors get dirty very quickly. There we go. It's a lot bigger in here than I thought it was gonna be. A lot bigger. A big old, uh, big old yard. This excellent. Hey, so yeah, what we need to do now is go and get loaded from D side with uh, with plastic pet, which is like bailed um, plastic, <laughs> literally bailed bailed plastic. That is literally it. And um, we're taking it to Rochester, which is near Dartford. Uh, I think it's going to be a good five hour drive, six hour drive there, I think, so it's a long drive. Whether we get it off today or not, I don't know. We will have to wait and see. I don't think we will. I think it's going to be a tomorrow morning delivery. So in theory, we've done all our deliveries today. We've just got to go get reloaded and then make our way down south, in theory. I put up with that beeping all day. <laughs> nice wide turn here by the looks of it. 
Oh, so trailer might struggle getting around. It's all clear. And the uh, yeah, the bloke here, the one in charge. His name's John. Really, really nice bloke. Really nice bloke. Said I can. Uh, he said if I come here late at night, I can uh, park up here for the night. No problem. He said uh, give him a call and he'll uh, let me in. So that's very nice of him. Now, Satnav was telling me to go right, cross the draw carriageway, and turn right. That might be an issue if I can't get out. There is a roundabout on the left side, so if I can't if I can't go right, or I wait too long to go right, then I just go straight left and cut my losses. <laughs> we'll make a judgment when it's clear to the right. I'll pull out. Uh, and get a better look to the left and if it's clear to the left he's flashing me and I'll go right I'm going to have to go left going to have to go left thank you to that car yeah three quarters of a mile there's a roundabout we can spin around and come back but yeah that's a, it's a bit dangerous uh, to go there and turn right I think Never mind. Right, so yeah, about an hour and a half to our next destination. I know that beeping's well annoying. Like I said, you've only got to put up with it for a video. I've uh, I got to put up with it all day. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the truck. It's a uh, faulty sensor, which has been replaced, and it's still uh, throwing up a coolant level sensor. Bit annoying, but never mind. Right, let's make our way to D-side. See you in a bit. Right, we... Uh we're around the corner from where we need to be. It's quite a busy road, this. Ah, he's flashed me through. What a gent. What a gent. Thank you very much. He did not have to let me through, but he did. He anticipated me. He prepared. He forward planned. And I'm grateful. <laughs> um... Right, yeah, we're going to turn left here. I've not, I've never been to this place before, so uh, I don't know where I'm going. And it looks like it could be down like a little alleyway somewhere. So we'll have to see. With regards to the delivery today, I'm still not sure if it will be being delivered today or not. Uh, depends on what time I leave, really. Uh, but also driver time. I think it's in Kent. And HGVs are not allowed to park up in Kent. Which means I've got to have enough time to get in and out. Um, I don't think I will. Because I'm on about four, four and a half hours driving now. Maybe, yeah, about four, four and a half hours driving. And it's never four and a half hours down. So that's nine hours just to get there. Uh, which means, well, I would have run out of driving time already. Or I'll have to go into a tent to get out. And I don't think I'll get out in an hour. I'm not sure. So I think it will be delivery for tomorrow morning, to be honest, but I'll find out for sure later on. It does, it does say recycling centre there. I do want a recycling centre, but it's not called recycling centre. It's called Recyclan. I don't know if I got to see anyone there or not. There's no sign saying drivers stop. I would park where he is, but he's there. I'm just gonna park up here on the left a sec. All this is must stop at the gate and sign in. Is that the way bridge? Yeah, I'm gonna, have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go and see someone. There's like, I haven't seen anyone yet. There was someone in a the window there. There's something about signing in there. So all I can do is uh, go and have a word with someone and uh, see what we can do. Didn't see a sign for PPE either, so I'm just going out like this. See you in a bit, wish me luck. Right, the situation is this. We are in the right place, that's good. Uh, 
we just parked there we've got to drive forward down there reverse back into that building but there's uh there's another truck in there at the moment getting loaded with what looks like these sort of bags here they're like quite tall bags skinny and uh i think the bloke's it's a foreigner i think he's uh driven forward uh and not strapped it or something so uh they fall falling over so they gotta they gotta stand them all back up now so meanwhile i just gotta wait but uh yeah it's not as bad as i thought it was gonna be i've had a look and uh at least he'd be able to throw some straps over that that was my main worry because normally when you do uh recycled pet it's in bales and normally the bales are quite high up to the roof whereas uh with these bags they're not quite as high as the bales so uh it's easy to throw a strap over happy days but we just gotta wait for him to be done now i expect he's gonna be at least half an hour at least so let's put it on brake let's go so this is what we're getting loaded with it is honestly one of the worst loads i've ever had the bags are big and bulky and they're light, don't get me wrong, but the straps just sort of like pull them down. I, I've yet to do that one and those back too. I've been here now for like, hang on. I got here like half past 10, nearly three hours. Woo! Right, uh, let's check my paperwork a sec. The unit's one to six, industrial estate, yeah, blah, 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 blah. There we go. Uh, I'm not being funny, but this is one of the worst places. Ugh, I've collected from. Nothing against the staff. Staff seem all right. But the procedure, the space, <laughs> it's just awkward. It's load a bag, move, load a bag, move, load a bag, move, load a bag, move. Move over so they can do the other side. Load a bag, move, strap. Load a bag, move, strap. I've been here for three hours. Three bloody hours. Not good. Um, I can't remember where I put my strap winder. Did I put it back in the side locker? I think so, I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise it's gone. We do have a bit of a bulge in the curtain. I don't know if you can quite see. It's a bit of a bulge. I'm not too concerned. It's all strapped up. Where it's actually strapped where that bulge is. Uh, and it, I don't think it's protruding too much. I am cautious of it, but I don't think it's too bad. So, yeah. Anyway, time. It's 20 past one. This is obviously being delivered tomorrow. We, we established that earlier. Uh, the problem is, where I want to park up tonight is five hours away. And I can only do four and a half hours driving, and then I need to have a break. Um, in fact, what I need to do is double check how much driving time I've got left. Right. Leave the menu. I'm currently on the three hours 54, so let's just say four hours, let's round it up. I can do nine, which means I've got five hours drive time on a nine or six on a 10. So, and I'm five hours away from where I wanna park, which means I am I can go into a 10 hour drive to get to where I wanna park if I want to. Today's Thursday and I've not used a 10 hour drive yet, which means I'll have a 10 for tomorrow still if needed. So it's not gonna intrude on tomorrow's shift at all. So it's completely up to me if I want to go into a 10 hour drive um, or find somewhere else to park up <laughs> sooner. So yeah, we can we can enjoy for four and a half hours, then we're gonna have a half an hour break. Now it's only a half an hour break because when I turned up here, I had a 45 minute break, cleared my driving time. And then I did some other work. I opened the curtains, got my ratchets ready uh, on other work. And then I had another 15 minute break. So that's what I did, which means now I only need to stop for half an hour later, not 45 been here for three hours and only an hour of that was was actually well an hour and a half let's say only an hour and a half of that was actually working let's say strapping up the rest of it was waiting so uh yeah half an hour later so i could do a four and a half hours driving now 
go to somewhere, services, have half an hour break, and then carry on and find somewhere to park. I know roughly where I want to park tonight, hopefully there's space, <laughs> uh, but it's looking like I'm going to be there at 7 o'clock, 10 to 7, something like that. So it's going to be a late one tonight. I started at 10 to 5, so I can work till 10 to 8, yeah, 10 to 8. So I'll have 50 minutes leeway. There's a tractor coming around. I don't know. It's a uh, it's a bit annoying that I've been here for so long, to be honest with you. Because uh, I was hoping to be parked up by six, latest. But never mind, it is what it is. But now, we've got to do four and a half hours driving. <laughs> so next time you see me, it probably will be dark. So Fun. See you in a bit. Right, you join me three hours and 25 minutes later, almost three and a half hours later. Uh, and we are going to stop now for our break at Toddington Services. It's, uh, it's 10 to 5 in the afternoon. I'm hoping I can stop here for half an hour and hopefully traffic might die down a little bit. I don't know, it might even be even busier. HTV's left, okay. So yes, we're going to stop here for half an hour and then um, maybe even 45 minutes yet, I don't know, we'll see. And then it's about an hour and a half then to, to our destination where we're going to park up tonight from here. So yeah, we just got to uh, find somewhere to park up for a sec. Yeah, there's loads of room in here. There's loads of room. Where should we park? I wouldn't actually mind going into the services. So if we can park somewhere near them, that'd be great. <laughs> you could argue I need the exercise, but never mind. What we do is we shall park next to this tanker. Here we go. So, yeah, we're just parking up here now for uh, for a half an hour break, and then uh, we will resume. Oh, sorry, Andy. Uh, my colleague Andy has noticed that when my seat belt comes off, it hits the window. There we go. Ah, break. Don't forget to put on break. So yeah, it's, t it's uh, nearly 10 to 5 now. So, um, yeah, let's have half an hour break. It'll be 20 past 5, maybe maybe half past 5 I leave. And, uh, you know, hopefully then it's only busy traffic for about half an hour. And then it'll be 6 o'clock and hopefully it's died off. That's the plan. Right, I'm going to go to the services, go to the toilet, freshen up, get some drink. See you later. <laughs> and here we are, parked up. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot to press record on the old uh, on the old GoPro. It's very dark in here. The one one difference between this truck and my other truck is the lights aren't quite as bright for some reason. Don't know why, but I got a torch. There we go. So um, yeah, no, we're parked up now for the night. Uh, gonna go and open the back door, uh, do some end of day checks. Uh, then probably get up about six o'clock tomorrow. It's seven minutes to seven now, so I've got seven minutes to clock off and do my uh, end of day checks because I want to start at six o'clock tomorrow so I get 11 hour rest. So I am going to go. I'm going to spend the next five minutes checking my truck out and opening the doors and I'm going straight to sleep because I am absolutely knackered. <laughs> so I'll see you in the morning. You make me nervous I think I might be hooked on you said to me, to me, it seems like you like me too. We can take it slow, make sure we do this right. Cancelled all my plans to be with you tonight, tonight. So just sit with me. Talking to the night into the morning, building camp mystery. I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next 
And good morning everybody. We are here at our first delivery point of the morning at Pro Environmental uh, in Kent. Somewhere in Kent. <laughs> uh, and I just spoke to camera but realised I wasn't recording. I just took a photo of myself. <laughs> so um, yeah, I did actually record myself arriving and I just realised I wasn't recording. Um, yeah, we parked up at 7 o'clock last night uh, and by 8 o'clock I was gone. I was asleep. Uh, and then at 6 o'clock this morning I woke up so I had plenty of sleep last night I needed it uh, in the end I did over a 14 hour shift yesterday and uh, I had about 6 hours sleep the night before if that so less than that I think I had 4 or 5 hours sleep so I needed uh, I needed the rest that's for sure but yes we are here we, uh, we're on the way bridge right now we're just getting weighed in I'm waiting for the bloke to come back out give me the thumbs up reverse me back we can open the curtains up and get offloaded uh, apparently there is uh, another lorry due in this morning that has priority over me so um, if he turns up while I'm here they might want me to move out of the way so they can offload him but they said it won't take long I don't know but yeah from here we need to go to Tilbury Docks once lo uh, unloaded here we'll go to Tilbury Docks get reloaded with Pavestone and we are taking the Pavestone to Pavestone in uh, Chip and Camden which is like sort of near Oxford area so it's on the way back uh, and then when we finish there uh, we'll either be going back to the yard or go and get loaded somewhere ready for Monday morning. Not quite sure which one yet. But uh, I'm just going to put uh, Tilbury Docks into the sat nav, ready to go. I reckon we're only about 45 minutes away, you know. We're not, not that far away from Tilbury Docks. Happy days. So, yes. What a, uh, what a busy couple of days it's been. Uh, well, yesterday was busy anyway. We've had any shape. Oh, he's coming back. Bloke's coming back. We're 30 miles from Tilbury Docks, 47 minutes. So, went far off 45, was I? I think he's going to ask me to come off now. Talking to the night into the morning, building camp. Mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me. Okay, so here we are. Uh, just waiting to be off. Like, well, they've started offloading on the other side. I've taken some of the straps off. You can see them sort of by the pallets. Uh, got some more to go there, look. Uh, but yeah, the load itself is just terrible. That bag there is shifted. Um, so yeah, just got to be careful when taking it off. But um, we're in, we're getting offloaded, that's the main thing. Happy days. Yeah, we're uh, still getting offloaded now. We're getting there. Because that's open the back doors, so then he could uh, get the ones off the back off. Uh, curtain on the other side to move to the back so we can do the front. Just waiting for him to take that pallet off there so I can put the pole back, move the curtain back and then I can jump up and start sweeping to get some of the, uh, the crap off because it's uh, it's all like plastic bits. I'll show you. Building camp, mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this but I think, I think we were So I'm not really sure what the difference between BJ Right, we are done, we are unloaded, we are reweighed, and we are now out of here. Just going off the way bridge. And drive. Bye bye.
yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, as I said, that was one of the worst loads I've collected in terms of like just overall product. It was big, bulky, light. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't heavy, but uh, it was just like the straps were pulling them together, but not. I don't know. They were secure, but they're not as tight as I would have liked them to be. So none of them shifted. Uh, they all arrived as they were put on, but uh, they weren't put on in the best condition anyway. So there was a lot of uh, a lot of photographs taken by everybody. <laughs> Them, myself. It was photographs before I left as well. So yeah, lots of uh, photography on those bags. Let's say. Right, we want to turn right. Uh, hazards off. Let's go. That sun is bright. Give way to the right. Let's go. So yeah, we're heading to Tilbury Docks now to get loaded. I know exactly where I'm going. I know roughly what I'm getting loaded with. It'll be uh, paved stone slabs. So nice and low down on the trailer. So a lot easier to strap up. <laughs> and then uh, they are going to Chip and Camden, which I'm going to assume is going to be a good sort of three hour drive, I would assume. I would assume. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to get a break in once we get loaded at Tilbury. Uh, uh, maybe even a break there if it's busy maybe get a break in there don't know we'll see right let's go see you in a bit right we are in Tilbury docks as you can see are just over there we're uh we need fuel apparently there's uh there's a fuel fuel um, pump in Tilbury docks that takes key fuels which is what I need to fill up on uh, and apparently it's just past where we're getting loaded as well so I'm gonna try and get some uh, some fuel first, but like I said, I don't actually know exactly where it is. <laughs> there we go. Right, so uh, 46A's there, so that's where we will be going in a minute. And there's the pumps there, look. There's the pumps. So that's where we need to go. How do we get in? Can we get in this way? I think so. Fly tip and leave in. Yeah, that's cool. Anyone gonna let me in? You haven't you haven't flashed me, mate, but thank you. If flashed me, I would have went. Fuel is on this side. Is this maritime just leaving? I might be unlucky now. This maritime truck might be leaving if he can get out. Right, we've got the paperwork. We now just need to spin round. I think we're gonna spin round in here. A bit more room. Bull shakalaka. Around we go. Excellent. Put my seatbelt on because we will be going on the road again, albeit temporarily. Excellent, eh? So we've got fuel, we got paperwork, we just now need to go into berth 44. A bit awkward to see out of this one. Clear to the left. Wait for these vehicles to go. There we go. Excellent. Berth 44. We've got 28 pallets going on. They're they're not like big size pallets, they're quite narrow. So 28 might sound like a lot, <laughs> but it's not really. Uh, next 
next one. And uh, they're, they're whack them on so quick. So quick. Like I said, as long as we're uh, one of the only ones to be in there, which we are. There's no one in there, so that's good. They'll be straight on us. And like I said, it is 20 to 10 right now. I'll be so surprised if we're not out of here before half past 10. I think we'll be out of here in half an hour. That's, that's I know that's very really optimistic. It's 20 to 10. Hopefully we're out. Let's say let's say quarter past quarter past 10 we'll be out. I reckon quarter past 10. That's my my estimation. I'll get back to you <laughs> uh, when we are loaded and we'll uh, we'll see what time it is. But I'm going to say quarter past 10. Excellent. And then we go down here. Look. we go and then we get loaded with 28 of these pallets. Let's go down to the first loading bay. Here we go. Right. See you in a bit. So here we are currently getting loaded. Uh, so these are the sort of stuff that's going on. We've got a couple on already. Well we've got four on actually. Uh, and as you can see, a lot lower. <laughs> so it's a lot easier to throw the uh, straps over. But I'm nearly as tall as it when it's on the bed. So yes, happy days. We're the only one here. So uh, they're loading us nice and quick. Right, we are loaded. Now, did we get loaded in time? Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 10.14. Yeah, baby. I was right. Well, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, so we uh, we got loaded in time, which is what we wanted. Now we just got to put the destination in. Oh, we've got builders mirror as well. My seat's gone down. Bye. Ah, <laughs> uh, I said it'd be about a three hour drive to our destination. That was just a complete and utter guess. I haven't actually uh, put it in the sat nav to find out. Uh, that was pure guessing, that was. So I'm just putting the postcode in now. GL556EG. Chip and Candom is 100 miles away. According to my sat nav. Got to build up some air. Ugh. Seat belt on. Route is still calculating. So yeah, it's, it's, it's literally quarter past 10 right now. So uh, happy days. Happy days. Three hours and seven minutes. So again, not far off. That was pure guessing when I said three hours. Uh, and we can get there in one go because we did have a break slightly earlier. Mm, might need to get half an hour break in somewhere. Yeah, we're going to have to get half an hour break in somewhere, I think. We shall see. Hopefully these uh, guys know that I'm here. <laughs> they, just done, they just loaded me, so they should know I'm here. So yeah, it's another saying, uh, 20 past one, that we will be there for. Uh, might be a little bit later. Well, I might try and get there, actually, before a break, and have a break while I'm there. Get, get unloaded and have a break on site. It looks like a big quarry. Uh, I've looked at the place on like briefly on on Google, but I haven't actually calculated a route or anything. It's quite busy in here today. Considering like where I've just been, I was in and out. Everywhere else seems quite busy. Strange. But uh, yeah, we got fuel. We got Ablu. We got a load on. Let's go get this delivered. Chip and Candom back to the yard, I would say is about an hour and a half, if that. So, if all goes well, could be back in the yard by four o'clock. Or, I might have to go get reloaded somewhere else. Uh, in which case, be back in the yard for about six o'clock. Not too bad. Be one of the earlier finishes I've had this week. <laughs> 
Right, let's go and uh, get this delivered. I've got my police pass. I'll give this to the policeman on the way out. And then uh, make our way to Chip and Candom. See you in a bit. Okay, you join me just around the corner from where we need to be. We are on four hours and four minutes of driving. Uh, with plenty of laybys uh, on the uh, the A44, which is what we're on now, and the 429. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in. If they don't un unload us straight away, we'll have a break and we've got to wait. If they do unload us straight away, we'll um, get it offloaded and then come out and have a 30-minute break. That is what we are going to do. But yeah, we want to make a right-hand turn coming up. So I'm going to start indicating now. And uh, where that car is there, look. Okay, so maybe maybe we indicate a little bit early. <laughs> Never mind. What's that? Is that a weight limit sign? Seven half turn restriction at Chip and Camden. Yes, that because that's where this road takes you to, Chip and Camden. But we're not going that far. We want to try and time it so we can go straight in after the car. Mind you, we've got to slow down because there's something in the road there. Look, nice wide swing on this one because of the chicane in the road. There we go. So yeah, it looks like there's a weight limit at Chip and Camden, which is right down here, but we're not going down. We're actually turning left in a minute. Into a quarry. They may ask me to put trousers on because <laughs> I'm wearing shorts. We'll have to see what they say. Uh, and I'm still not sure what I'm doing after this either, so I'll, I'll, I'll message the boss to ask what I'm doing after this. We'll either be going back to the yard or going to get loaded somewhere ready for the Monday shift I would imagine. Most likely uh, go get loaded somewhere I suspect that's why I anticipate anyway uh, so the quicker the quicker this comes off the better <laughs> right we want to go just over the brow of this hill the road dipping to the left yeah. I saw that dip in the road there before, before I actually went in there Right, is this the entrance? I think this is the entrance. Nope, that's not the entrance. It's the one after this one. Well, I shall stay indicating anyway, because there are cars behind me, so... This is where we want to go. Yeah, I've got to take it wide. Otherwise I won't get in. Check the inside is clear, it is. Ugh. And I believe I want to take the... S My bloody airlines keep getting caught up on the trailer. I've got to, uh, got to move my airlines because it's caught on the... Sorry. <laughs> it's caught on the, uh, on the hook on the trailer, one sec. Must have been that type right hand turn we had to do. So he yes. asked. Right. Yeah, look, there's some PPE here. Hi Viz, hard hat, boots, glasses, doesn't say trousers. So let's see if they mention it. <laughs> Is this forklift coming over to me? No, there's a there's a stop sign here. He might be coming over to me. I think I'll stop here and just see if, uh, if anyone haunts me. There's one forklift over there looking at me, but he ain't actually coming over. <coughs> right. Hard hat, high vis, boots, glasses. There we go. I've got the requirements on that they asked for on the entrance. Let's see if it's on enough. See you in a bit. Okay. Hailstone pallets are coming off. Nice and quickly as well. As soon as I got in, curtains were undone. So uh, happy days. We'll uh, we'll have our break when we come out of here. We'll go out on the main road, uh, on the A road. There's plenty of A boys, and we'll uh, we'll have our break over there. But for now, let's just uh, continue getting these offloaded. See you in a bit.
Right, we are unloaded and we are good to go. Just giving the uh, truck a very quick wipe with paint because it looks a bit dusty. The sun's gone on it. Right, we need to have a break outside. So we're going to find a lay-by and have a break. Once we've had the break, we are getting loaded somewhere. I'm not quite sure where yet. I've just been told to head towards uh, Siren Sister, so it could be uh, could be either or. I'm just going to take this off though. Uh, yeah, we're a good hour. Oh, bloody hell! An hour and twenty minutes away from uh, from Tetbury. A bit further than I thought, which means uh, by the time we get a break in, it's going to be like nearly four o'clock, I think, before, before we're there. We will see. We will see. I don't know if it's one way in, one way out or not. I haven't been told there's another way out, so this is the way I'm going. <laughs> Ugh, lovely. Let's get on out of here. Clear left, clear right. Excellent. Right, so, yes, I'm going to uh, head on out, go and have a break somewhere down here, and then, hopefully, by the time we get to Siren Sister, we will know roughly uh, what we're doing, uh, and where we're getting loaded, at least, anyway. So, yeah, let's see you in a bit. Right, we're done. We're loaded at Tetbury. Just got to get weighed. James in the office will give us the thumbs up if we are okay for weight. All good. Just wanted a little chat, see if I was alright. <laughs> if I was having a good day. Right. We are loaded. Uh, this is for Monday morning, where it's going to be going to Morden in London. So yes. Let's put the uh, seatbelt on. Check it's all clear over there, it looks like it is. Brilliant, all good. There we go. So it's now home time. <laughs> I've actually got the, the uh, destination in Monday for where we've got to go. Uh, we'll be there at 7 o'clock tonight if we went there right now. <laughs> it's, uh, it's 20 past 4 right now. So uh, not too shabby, we'll be back in the yard in about half an hour or so. So, um, yeah, definitely reasonable, reasonable time to be getting back. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I do appreciate it. I know it's been uh, a bit, well, had a bit of a weird start, getting knocks on the door by bloody Lady of the Nights. Oh, I had a terrible night's sleep that night, followed by an extremely long day. And uh, well, I caught up on my, uh, on my sleep last night, so... I'm happy with that. But yeah, from me, that's it. I'm all good. I'm uh, gonna go home now, enjoy my weekend. I've actually, I'm actually doing CPC tomorrow. <laughs> uh, so I don't I don't have a day off. Uh, which reminds me, if you are interested in CPC, whether you're an employee or an employer, um, NCT, National Compliance Training, uh, that's who I do mine with. And if you use the code LUKEC10, you get 10% off your CPC. So. I did a video on it not too long ago. Everyone needs to do CPC, whether you want to do it or not. It's uh, it's a legal requirement. You have to do it, and uh, you know it's 45 pounds normally uh, online via Zoom, 
but if you use my code that you get 10% off takes it down to 40 pounds and 50 pence so link is in the description down below if you are interested nct cpc national compliance training anyway thanks for watching i do appreciate it until next time drive safe stay safe hopefully we'll get my beeping sorted out over the weekend well not not me not we but the boss <laughs> and uh i will see you soon thanks for watching take care bye bye